What's up, YouTube? A lot of people legit are scared that they're not going to be able to sideload or use third-party apps on Android TV. And I'm just here to tell you, that's not going to happen. There's always going to be a way. If you want to learn why and how, stick around. Welcome back to Kelly Tech. You can follow along with me on this video, but it really wasn't meant to be a tutorial. I just wanted to show you that even under the worst conditions, you're still going to be able to use third party apps. Alright, to get started, open up a web browser and type in apps.avozi.com. I'll leave the link down in the description below and then click APK downloader and then once you're at this website click on Play Store alright now when you're in the Play Store simply search for web browser Alright, as you can see, there's a huge list of web browsers. And why I say there's always going to be a way to do this is because even if there is no, I mean zero, web browsers on Android TV, there's always going to be a bunch on the App Store for your phone and for your PC. So, worst case scenario you try one doesn't work try the next one doesn't work try the next one and eventually one's gonna work as of right now they're all gonna work just about but it's a little harder for them to do what they did to Puffin browser with these other big companies like right here they're not gonna be able to push around Microsoft as much as they did Little Puffin. Puffin is fairly new and an up and coming company that's doing great work. I hate that Google's holding them back. But here's one that I highly doubt they're going to get rid of the download feature on their own Google Chrome. So you can click any of these. once you're at the screen where it says installed or install you just copy this URL up here copy and then go over to that first website paste it in there and generate download link and now you can download it so click here to download I'm going to save it to my desktop just to make things easy. And it's finished downloading. And here it is Chrome APK. So now we have the Chrome APK file. And you can do that with any of those browsers. So just pop in a USB drive almost everybody has one nowadays transfer it over to your drive close it up and pull your drive out now let's switch over to the Mi Box. Alright, now in order to install the APK, you need some type of file browser. So go over to the App Store, get more apps.
file browser. And they could even get rid of some of these file browsers. But any one of them will work. They're not going to get rid of every single one of them. So choose one. They all pretty much do the same thing. Install. And open. Give permissions. So let's pop in our USB drive that we put the APK on. And mine is named ADATA. And there it is. Chrome APK. Select that. Go to settings. And you have to allow Explorer or whatever file browser you choose. Hit the back button. And because you had to allow it, you have to click it again. So click Chrome once again. And install. And then we're going to want to click done. So let's back out of here. Now let's see if we can put it on our favorites. And the answer is no. But there's always a way. One way of doing it, you can go to settings, apps, and then look for Chrome. There it is. And open. And that will open it up for you. Now, unfortunately, with Chrome, you got to use a mouse. Let's eject our USB drive. And hit eject. And pull out your drive. And then plug in some sort of mouse or keyboard. All right. So let's go back to Chrome. Open it up. So this particular version of Chrome is kind of stupid. But you have to actually open up a new page. Like, you could pick anything. Pick YouTube. I want you to pick a different page. You can put in the URL that you wish. Pick an APK. Hit OK. And then you just hit open.
and it starts to install it. So that's why I say that there's always going to be a way to do it. There's always going to be some type of file browser in the Play Store, and there's always going to be some type of web browser from the Play Store for your phone. So, as long as you can get those two items, it's easy. And even though it's a little more difficult, once you get that web browser on there, it's smooth sailing. Um... I don't really recommend the Chrome web browser. I was just giving you guys like the worst case scenario because that thing is hard to navigate in here. <laughs> I haven't tried the DuckDuckGo version, but I'm, I'm thinking about giving it a shot. So I hope you guys learned something today. I hope this helped you out. If it did, like and subscribe. And as always, have a tech day.